prosperity. Yes, Even after hitting a brick wall at the 24th negotiation talks, the Kenya National Union of Teachers has voted to go back to yet another meeting scheduled for 27 this month. Led by their Secretary General Wilson Sosion, the union has given the government a grace period of 5th of next month to resolve the pay dispute threatening to marshal teachers countrywide for a strike come next year if nothing is forthcoming. If this process will not have been concluded by 5th of December, then we shall move a motion on 9th of December at the annual delegates conference. And this is the first time in the history of the union that the annual delegates conference shall have a rare opportunity to vote for an industrial action. So Sion is accusing the government of employing tactics to try and scuttle the talks. There has been a lot of reluctance, non-commitment, feet dragging and attempts to support it by the government. The first one was to use government created unions to disrupt negotiations and to issue contradictory and incitory statements. Number two, to use TSC to delay. Number three, SRC has been brought in. And we have said categorically, SRC has no mandate over the teacher's salary. NAT has opposed the move by the Salaries and Remuneration Commission to try and advise on teachers' salaries, claiming the commission has no mandate on matters touching on teachers' salary. Reporting for Channel One News Hour, I'm Linus Mashagadi.